Hello! I'm getting set up. Sorry, guys. There we go! Hello! Somebody said I say that funny. Hey, guys! Ooh, it worked. Okay. Hi, guys! We're gonna make cookies and we're gonna make tortillas. And I've never made the tortillas, so we'll see what happens. Could be a mistake. Hi, Rose. Thanks for coming. So, we're going to make... I wish this would focus better. Um, so, we are going to make some chocolate chip cookies. But, 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 we are going to use this cookie butter flavor instead of vanilla. And I am really excited. So, um, that's a great song, isn't it? Um, so... We're gonna use this instead of vanilla and see what it tastes like. I'm so excited. My best friend sent this to me for my birthday. She sent me this one and she sent me strawberry. These are so good. I also have um, the red velvet one. So we're gonna make cookies. So we're actually gonna start the cookies and then we'll make, no, we're gonna make tortillas because we have to make the dough, let it sit in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes and then we'll make the cookies while we're doing that. I have never used this before and it smells so good. So I'm excited to make um, it's Loran. They have a, this is like supposedly the best flavoring. I got the strawberry one and then here's red velvet. I've made ice cream with this. It's really, really, really good too. And they're flavored. I mean, they're, um, colored. So this one's actually red. So, um, so my best friend ordered it from me on Amazon. No, she got it on eBay because it was cheaper on eBay. So it's called Loran Professional Kitchen bakery emulsions which I don't know if that's different than like the flavoring which I assume it is um but it doesn't have anything in it water natural artificial flavors xanthan gum salt that's it so um Loran L-O-R-A-N-N -N. so we're gonna try this she's had like the maple one she's actually eaten a lot of them. I wish she was on here I don't think she is um her name's speed limit zero she's on here she actually has a page and does some Instagram stuff she is better at making recipes than I ever would be. So we're going to try cookies this way. But first we're going to make the tortillas because they have to sit. So this is a screenshot that I printed off of the recipe. It's on Stacy's highlights. So um, we're going to see how these tortillas turn out. Have y'all seen Stacy's tortillas? Because they look fabulous. Also, I feel like y'all are really close today. Oh, 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 I'm losing it. I'm losing it. There we go. I can't fix it. Okay. Also, look at this. Isn't this so cute? I bought this this weekend from Costco and I'm so excited to use it. Um, it's a small food processor. It's the four cup one. Yes, keto does amazing things so anyways food processor i'm really excited okay so i already have the dry ingredients in here and i'll read them off in case somebody's writing them down but they're on stacy's page too and you can go find them um it's a cup of almond flour three tablespoons of coconut flour two teaspoons xanthan gum which gives them like the like bready texture that's what xanthan gum is usually used for or like um, making sauces thicker a teaspoon of baking powder salt and then the wet ingredients, which I'm going to do the wet ingredients with y'all on here. So, um, let's just see how this works. Or it doesn't work. Okay, hang on. I got this. I can figure this out. Ah. Okay, so this is cool. It goes backwards and forwards, up and down. I don't, that's neat. Okay, so we're going to do two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, which I have right here. Mix it up. Um, one egg, which I have right here. And then we're going to do three tablespoons of water. Yes, we're making cookies and stuff. All right. So it's two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. I'm so glad you could come, Rachel. I saw that you were, like, waiting. I hope that made me laugh a little bit. Because I was like, yeah. And, you know, I just kind of sit around like waiting to do live because I'm usually already at home so all right so three teaspoons of apple cider vinegar are gonna go in here 
I think that Stacy does is why it's running, but there's just no way I could do that. Okay. Oh, wait, was it two? Two teaspoons. I'm glad I didn't do three. They have a corn flavor, actually. I don't have it, but I know they have a corn bread flavor, which Sol used. Um, three teaspoons of water. I'm going to take this little bucket off so I can get water. I've been on the Taylor Swift's old CD lately. I don't know why. I love his CD. I love him. One, two, three. All right. Put three tablespoons in there. Whoops, whoops. Try to get this thing back on here. There we go. All right, and then an egg. And I've never made this before, so I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I move stuff around in my kitchen and I don't know where anything is anymore. So I can't decide if I want to have breakfast taco, breakfast burritos, pork rinds. Look at this guys. This is from Costco. It's $6 and it is the best pork rinds there ever has been. They are fluffy and they don't cut my mouth. I love these. These are my favorite. Um, we got these at Costco. Yeah, or Sam's Club. I think they have, both have them. So, you know what? For six bucks, you really just can't go wrong. I mean, honestly, it's six bucks. And I pay more for the little bags than six, like, it's like four dollars a bag. I mean, it's not nearly as much. Okay, so I put one beat, one egg that's been beaten here, and then we're gonna food process it until it turns into dough, is what I'm told. So. <laughs> at all um, my boyfriend bought this whole package last time and we just finished the the bucket of them and they're still really good not stale at all um I was actually impressed so in Stacy's video she takes not saran wrap she uses something else and she like needs it for a minute so we're gonna do a little bit of that see Sam wrestle with the paper Jesus my cat hates that noise I don't even know where my cat is I use so much stuff that oh Actually, I can make contact, eye contact with him in the bedroom right now. <laughs> um, he doesn't like the vacuum cleaner either. Okay. <laughs> Tiffany or somebody. I can't wait to see you this weekend. Okay, so we have our dough. It actually did turn into dough in the book. I wanted to show y'all. So here's the dough. Yeah, cling wrap is the worst. So we're going to take the dough out and knead it for a minute until it's all one ball. ball. All right, there we go. This food processor is awesome. I love it. Okay, so Stacy does it with, I'll show you how Stacy does it. I actually went and watched, we'll talk about these waters in a second. That's a boyfriend thing. My boyfriend brought them all the way into the kitchen and I don't have anywhere to put them in my kitchen. So they're staying right there until I go through them apparently. So, okay, so Stacy takes hers and she takes it and she kneads it with her, her hands like, see? Oh yeah, y'all can definitely see. Um, until it's like an actual ball. The only thing I don't have is I don't have a tortilla press. This sucks. <laughs> this is not working very often, very well. You're welcome. I meant to, I, I should pin it more often and I forget about it. Um, so this is actually really good dough. I'm really impressed. Okay. So here's my little ball of dough. We'll say that's good enough. We're gonna stick this in the refrigerator for 15 minutes while we make the cookies. So, since I can never hear Alexa, we're gonna use my actual little timer. 15 minutes, all right. I don't wanna get my hands all dirty. Um, yeah, the meetup, I can't wait for the meetup this weekend. Um, all right, so for the cookies, I will actually, type this out and make a post about it. Um, but we have six tablespoons of soft butter. It's soft. I just checked. There we go. Um, six tablespoons of soft butter and half a cup of sugar. And I actually use like almost an entire half cup of pure for this. I usually don't, but for this one I do. And you're going to cream these together. So let's get the half cup out. Pure's the only brand of sugar I use. If you ask, that's about, I can't see. 
Can y'all see about how it's not all the way full? This is about how I measure all the sugar items because pure is a little bit sweeter than regular sugar. So thank you. I'm so glad they help out. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna beat the sugar into this butter. Oh. Okay. Too many things. All right. This. Is this. I want y'all to know. I came home and did fucking dishes to make sure that my kitchen looked clean. Cause there was a lot of dishes from this weekend. Not even this weekend, I mean a lot. They were from last week. Cause I didn't even do dishes this weekend. I didn't even do anything this weekend. I didn't cook one meal this week. No, I didn't cook last night. All right, so I'm gonna beat this together really fast. Ooh, butter went flying. Then you put in one egg and beat it and you put in the flavor. This is what I'm using. I use Pure. Pure is a mixture of stevia and erythritol and it is the best combination to not get that weird after flavor. You still will get it for a while but you, you, stop, you stop noticing it after a while also but this is like one of the better things of this. So um, yeah, Pure's at Walmart or Amazon. I really like it. I do go live at seven every Monday. Um, yeah, this is at Walmart. You can get it at Amazon and it's about six or seven bucks for a bag. I actually buy like four bags at a time. So um, we're gonna put the cookie butter. Ooh, I'm so excited just to use this. Oh, it smells so good. It smells, um, I don't wanna say spicy, but it has like that spicy flavor. That smell, the spices in it. I don't know what that is, cinnamon maybe? I have no idea, it smells amazing um i never really had cookie butter and stuff like they have at tj at uh, trader joe's so i don't know if that's like the i'd never i don't know what that smell is all right so i want to show y'all do y'all see how brown it oh y'all can see see how brown it is um ginger whatever it is so we're gonna do two tablespoons of this because the recipe calls for two tablespoons of flavor so oh man it's gonna be gone so fast guys Spicy cookies. Yeah, this is the um, cookie butter like flavor that they have in like that. What is that like um, that spread stuff they have at Trader Joe's? That's the only time I can remember seeing it. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to uh, try this. Honey molasses is that? Oh, <laughs> that's funny because I was like, it's not honey molasses. It's cookie butter. That made me laugh. Um, here's the bottle. Focus. There we go. Cookie butter. It's by Lorann. L-O-R-A-N-N. -N. Um, I haven't ever tried this in cookies. I have tried the, I have the red velvet one. I've made in keto ice cream before. And my friend also treated me to the strawberry one. So I can't wait to make um, mug cakes with this. So let's see, see what it, we're gonna mix it together really fast. Oh, we need the egg too. Let's not forget the egg like we do in things constantly. Let me tell y'all. How proud of Soul I am. She made the best cake this weekend. It was so, so good. And she let me take home the um, extra. And it was so good yesterday. Oh, so good. She did such a good job. All right. So we're going to beat this together. And then we're going to add the flour. Almond flour. Almond flour. All right. So for the almond flour, you do half a cup at a time. And it's five half cups, which is a two and a half cups so um thank you I appreciate it I had such a good birthday this weekend guys um my boyfriend did a great job I got to hang out with soul and it was just such a good good weekend um all right so I'm doing a half a cup of flour at a time so that'll be one and then I'm gonna beat it together a little bit Soul made, I'll show you actually too. She made me a cake by um, Kawaii Tree. Kawaii. Um, which is our friend Suri. She makes package treats. And I'll actually show you in a second. Um, one, I'm going to try to keep count. Two, she even made her own icing though. She made like this chocolate ice. Oh, it was so good. Two. Two, three. My eyes are not, no. My eyebrows are disaster, Rachel. 
Thank you for asking. Um, two, three. Um, I wish they were Michael bladed. I'm not that fancy. I do my own eyebrows too. I don't even really get them done or anything like that. But they always like make them so much thinner than I want. I'm like, I don't want thin ass eyebrows. Is that three? I think that was three. I gotta stop using this thing though. I'm gonna start using a spatula. Three, four, sorry, gotta count it loud so I can keep track. Four, and then we have to do one more. Okay, Canadian meetup. Man, if anybody has a Canadian meetup and they just wanna play for my flight in my hotel, let me know. I'll be there. Um, that's the only reason I didn't go to the New York one is because I just don't want to pay for it. I mean, I'll be honest. I just have better things I would like to spend my money on than traveling around. And other people I'd want to go see. Like, I don't travel either. That's why, I, I don't know. I hope that the New York meetup is so fun. Did y'all see how many people are showing up? Like, holy Jesus. I thought 45 was a lot. And he's doing work for like 118 people or something crazy. Cat and fleas are good. Um, so I bathed him, or I didn't bathe him, I lied. I did cap guard on him, um, a couple pills, and then he also got the drops, and then I super cleaned my apartment. I haven't seen anything, so I think I got ahead of him. Um, so, see, I do pencil them in. They're not usually this thick, but I, a cheap pencil, that's why I don't do the microblading. I'm also scared to do it, but, um, with a cheap pencil... I'll be fine. I'm not very, um, not very makeup artisty anyway, so just whatever works. Soul did give me that cherry palette for my birthday. Oh my god, that thing is amazing. It's so beautiful. Um, okay, so these cookies smell amazing. I'm still gonna put chocolate chips in them because I just want chocolate chips in them still. So all I'm doing is I'm folding over the dough, um, to mix in the flour and then once that's done i'll pour in chips and then we'll make the i'll show you how i measure out the chips i mean the um the cookies okay so this is the chocolate chips i use they're lilies they're the best 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 i eat i eat so i got three bags of these right now uh, this is my favorite thing so, um, we're making cookies and we just made tortillas. We're going to actually make the tortillas. Turn on the oven. That looks good. That's, a, that's quite a bit of chocolate chips. Okay. So, um, I don't know why that other bag was in there. So chocolate chips and don't do that. It's be messing with the light. Okay. So all I'm going to do is fold in the chocolate chips. Now I'm going to show y'all, um, really fast. Let's say you're like Sam. I hate to bake. I'm not gonna bake. I'm not good at baking. I don't want to F some stuff up because I'm just not a baker. So, um, Kawaii Treats, her name's Suri. She does little mixed, um, bags that you can just add a couple eggs, some butter. Um, sometimes sh she calls for like vanilla or things like that. Amazing. I love them so much. Um, and the, the price is good on them for what you're getting in the bag. And man, her formulas, you can't really mimic because it's like, she'll use four flowers for one type of cookie and it's what gives it the best cookie consistency. And there's just no way I would be able to buy all that flour and then know what she did. Like, so, um, but I love her stuff. I eat desserts every damn day. Every day. <laughs> if I had a shirt, it's a desserts every day. Um... I love dessert. Dessert's my favorite thing. And knowing I want to be keto forever, I might as well make sure I have dessert every day. Even if it's just a little chocolate bar or something like that. I've never not had dessert. I think there's like five times that I've had dessert and uh, not had dessert that I can count on my hand. Okay. So let's roll this, some of these cookies out. This is going to make a ton of cookies, which is fine. You don't want to put too many cookies on your cookie sheet because they won't cook correctly and then you, it just kind of messes them up. Oh my gosh, did you see how many treats she sends her son? Oh, I'm so jealous of all the stuff that she sends. Um, hang on. 
All right, just in your case, you're like, what does Suri have in her little shop? Let me show you. She has pancakes, which just takes eggs, water, sour cream. She has fudge brownies, fudge cookie mix, dark chocolate cake mix, chewy oatmeal, basic yellow cake, sugar cookie, wait, 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 and corn-free corn bread mix. If there's something you don't like here, you just don't like sweets. Look at all this stuff. Um, I made the chewy cookies this weekend, and they were so good. Um, they were so good. They were so good. And then we put frosting on them. <laughs> Soul's frosting was so good. Okay, if you want to get Surrey stuff, Sam 15 gets you 15% off. I don't get paid for it. She said, I can pay you. Or I can give them a better discount. And I said, make sure they get a better discount because I don't want to make the money. I'd rather y'all get 15% off and enjoy her amazing cookies than make any money off of that. That makes no sense. Um, I'm going to show y'all how I do my cookies. So this is just a tablespoon. I've done this. The, I do this all the time. Um, this is how I... I tried goodies once. And I didn't like it. And this was years ago. And maybe the formula's changed. It was very cooling to me. And I got her blondies. And they didn't have any sweet flavor. They just tasted like grounded sunflower to me. Everybody's different and has their own opinions. That's why there's so many great brands you can, out there you can try. Um, but yeah, I really like Surrey's. Like, I really like her stuff. Um, she did send samples. I We have pancake mix for every single person coming to the meetup. So y'all can try, y'all get to make your own pancakes, um, from her recipe. So for cookies, what I do is I take this and this is about one cookie right here. And I'm going to take, um, a spoon and spoon them out, but that's how I measure out my cookies and however many, I even do this with Surrey's, however many cookies this makes, I add up the nutritional label and then I divide by how many cookies it made. This is really easy for portioning because you have a cookie this big. You know, I mean, you can do the same thing. If you make 12 of them, then just do the math. So you got to make a meetup, girl. That's what a lot of people do. Like you got to, there was like um, uh, a Las Vegas meetup and all sorts of meetups. So just make one. I know. And on my page, I should do this again, but on my page, there's a little, um, there's a, a post that says, where are you from? And you can go see if there's anybody like close to you um, to make a meetup. So right now all I'm doing is scooping these out. I can't tell you. I think Goodies is actually sending some stuff too. She's not seeing enough for everybody. Um, so we're going to like um, do a raffle for hers. There is some people in Nashville for sure. Okay. So all I'm doing is I'm taking this and I'm just scooping out. And then I'll roll them into balls in a minute. Um, but I'm just going to make enough to go on this cookie sheet because I'm going to have to do more than one batch. Um, that's 15 minutes for the... Um, tortillas but let's finish uh this these cookies really fast at least for this batch man these cookies smell really good this cookie butter smells really good i'm so excited to try this um but yeah doing a meetup's so fun you know we've had um what did we have we had soul did one last year with denise and then this year we did one in the summer and we went to pluckers and then there was also like a mini meetup. There was a ton of people there though. Um, a month, a couple months later, and then we got this meetup. And then next year we plan on doing more meetups. I mean, there's just so many people in DFW. The the meetup stuff, I just we just talk about it on here. We don't really have um, we don't really have a like place that we put everything. I guess we could. I guess I could use my website. You know, I have a website. I don't ever use. Got one. I got it. No, it doesn't have any carbs. It's just the flavor. It doesn't have anything else in it. So, you know, whenever you're like shopping for coffee pods or something, and you're like, how do you know if this has sugar in it? So this is what I've come, the conclusion I've come to. When you look at something and it doesn't have a nutritional label, that means it probably doesn't have anything in it to say it has nutritional value in it. So here's toasted sesame seeds, which does have the table because there is calories and items in this. So I'm, I think that's what that is. 
these aren't cactus they're um coconut flour and almond flour uh so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna roll these cookies in a ball so whenever you make these cookies if you'd like to make these cookies um you flatten them out because they don't flatten out by themselves so you flatten them to what you would like oh my god they smell so good i can smell them as i'm rolling them um so you flatten them to the the size that you'd like them to be um i usually do not too big not too small so these cookies are about a carb each, depending on how large you make them. If you make them larger, they're going to be more um, more carbs, of course. So it just depends on pretty much you and what you want to do. Um, so I just take my little... Can y'all see what I'm doing? Not really. Okay, look at my corner. There we go. All right, so all I'm doing is taking this, this little spatula and just smushing them out like that. And I'll show you in a second. I don't know what I was talking about. Um, so this. Alright, sorry. I gotta flatten these out really fast so we can get them in the oven. So we can make tortillas. God, I'm so excited to have tortillas. Growing up in Texas, you just eat so much Mexican food and no tortillas. Kinda sucks. I love tortillas. Nothing like a warm tortilla with butter on it dipped in salsa. It's the best. Okay, so we're gonna make two more to go at the top of this cookie sheet just because then it looks better in my my brain. Yeah, the duff one was so fun. I love duffs too. I went I had dust for my birthday this weekend. Thanks to Soul. Um I had so much fun this weekend. Alright, so gonna flatten these out a little bit. I'm sorry, I'm not paying attention to chat as much. I'm trying to get get this stuff out the nice thing is these don't um they don't they don't flatten out anymore so you can fit quite a few on here if you needed to okay so i'm going to show y'all what i did so far and then we're going to stick them in the oven for about 15 minutes let me wash my hands over this water everywhere okay so yes so okay Here's my cookies they're all flat and beautiful we're gonna put them in there for about 12 minutes alexa set a timer for 12 minutes Okay, so those are in there. Let's get out our dough. And I don't have a fancy tortilla flattener, but happy to see me. Got me a rolling pin after she saw me. She's in the DFW. Got me a rolling pin after she saw me roll out stuff with good balls. Pork rinds in a tub. Let's go back to the pork rinds. These are pork rinds in a tub. Uts. Oots. Oots. I'm pretty sure it's not Oots. Um, Uts brand, Costco, like six or seven dollars. They're so good. And they don't make my, they don't hurt. Um, yeah, this is my, mm, I love this. Okay, so we got our tortillas. We're going to get two pieces of parchment paper so we can roll them out in between um, the parchment paper. Okay, we're just now making tortillas. Okay, so next to me, I just sweep apparently. Okay, so next to me, I have a skillet. It's hot and it doesn't have any butter in it. She said no butter, so that's fine. No butter. Um, I'm a disaster today, guys. All right, um, this is our. It's just cold. There's a lot of people that don't like pork rinds, but, I mean, it's alright. So, I guess we're just going to take a little ball of, oh. Alright, our ball of dough. I'm going to flatten it out in between these two pieces of parchment paper. Very fancy-like. I don't know how to use a rolling pin, let's be honest. This definitely isn't round yet, so these might not be... These might not be round like a tortilla. Okay, Stacy's right. Stacy said, get yourself a tortilla press. And I was like, meh, I'll be all right. I don't need a tortilla press. I need a tortilla press, guys. I don't, I don't, <laughs> don't, don't laugh at my tortillas. Y'all ready? What shape is that? 
That ain't round. But we're going to cook it and see what it's like. Um, I've been keto for three years. I don't have high cholesterol. I don't have high blood sugar. I don't have any life-threatening illnesses. And I'm fine. So I don't. We're going to take this and we're going to stick it on this really hot skillet. Okay. Said really hot and then it didn't make any sound. Um... Yeah, I can probably moosh them, right? I can probably moosh them. Which would probably work just fine. I mean, honestly. I don't, I'm just... Hey, I'm glad that you like your Keto Mojo. Um, if you have any questions about it, let me know. Um, so, I'm just taking the tortilla dough. It is the shape of, like, Antarctica. I'm gonna eat it and it's gonna taste amazing either way, so... Alright, there's my dog, my roll. We're going to smush this out again. You would think living in Texas, I could just go to anywhere and find a tortilla press. Living in Texas, guys, like, is that not a thing? Okay, this one's way more round, actually, though. So I did a lot better job this time. Yeah, I don't... You came into the wrong, like, live to ask if keto is long-term. A lot of us are actually long-term. Um, and it's something, like, I don't think I'll ever not be keto. Um, so. Yes. Stacy did this way better than I did. So, no big deal. Ooh, guys, they're actually, like, getting, like, bread. Oh, I can't show y'all. I'm going to take y'all off. Hang on. Look. Can y'all see? Y'all can't see. It's, like, getting fluffy. Not fluffy, but it's definitely turning into more of a, like, bread consistency. So proud of you for two, losing two pounds. I hope that helps. Oh, Stacy said you have to use, you get a plate and a cloth and you put them on the plate and the cloth when you're done. I don't know why, but she said so and I have to follow all the rules exactly the way she said. So, um, of course they had one at Big Lots. I have eight Big Lots between me and work and I didn't go get one. Dang it. Oh. Y'all have way better ideas than I do. <laughs> um, oh, we gotta flip the, we gotta flip it, flip it. Let's not use that one though. All right. Whoop, whoop. Oh, oh, flip, flip, flip. Oh, that's hot. It looks like a tortilla, guys. I'm so excited to show y'all. We have Fiesta and we have Rancho and I should have gone and got one. Um. Thank you for coming by, Ashley. I appreciate it. And thank you. I'm over here burning myself. Um, okay, so y'all, this looks like a tortilla. I am so excited. Is he here? Oh, he is here. Look. Say hi, Dee. What are you doing? Oh, okay. There's Dee. Um, y'all ever seen a cat sit? Do you know how to sit for a treat? You want to see D sit for a treat? Um, I think what I, I wanted to do eggs on my tortilla, but I actually think I can actually fit more than one tortilla on here in time too. I think I'm going to do chicken because I pulled apart a chicken for lunch tomorrow and I think I'm going to do a chicken instead. Okay. I have enough room for two tortillas on here as long as they don't make the, yeah. <laughs> uh, Vicky, you have to make this recipe now. I can't wait to show you what this one looks like um, that I just finished. Oh, it's kind of crunchy, though. Wait, wait. Okay, I think it's cooked. It's hot as balls, though. Look, look at that. Doesn't that look like a tortilla? It's a very crunchy tortilla. Might be a little dry. I will post the cookie recipe as soon as I'm finished. Um, as soon as I make a, I'll make a post tonight about them. Um, so my tortillas kind of feel dry and, um, yeah, get a tortilla. I'm going to find a tortilla press this weekend. Um, I know there's one somewhere. So these are kind of drying out. I don't know what that's about, but they're kind of dry. So let's, let's make another one and see what happens. I, I used to eat the um, low carb tortillas that Mission makes. They're delicious. And the cut the carbs are also good, but all the wheat, it definitely takes me out of ketosis. So I don't eat any of that stuff anymore. Um, 
I mean, but it works for you, it works for you. All right, so just gonna keep making tortillas, apparently this is what I'm doing. You just gotta decide to do it. I mean, there's no tips and or tricks to any of it. You just gotta do it. Um, honestly, I know that's the suckiest answer. Um, so, all right. Hey, Dominic, how's it going? Um, thanks for coming by. I feel so popular today. I'm making tortillas. Have you made these tortillas? Has anybody else made these tortillas? Like they are so fabulous so far. Well. I haven't tasted them, but so far they look really good. Um, this is the last one. This one's gonna be really big. I think I am cooking them too long, so. All right, I took that one off sooner. We'll see how that works. Move that one over. Um, what made your blood sugar spike? I'm sorry, I missed it. If you have a plateau while losing, you probably just need to count your calories. Um, honestly, that's, that's the biggest like issue with people is they're not counting their calories. So they don't realize they're overeating. That's about it. I mean, it's really easy to fix. Um, man, a quesadilla? Woo! I'm making a quesadilla. You just made my night. Thank you. I just pulled apart all that chicken and was like, I guess I can make chicken tacos. But I would way rather have a melty cheese quesadilla. Way, way, way rather have that. It's just going to be the most awkward looking quesadilla because none of it's, um, uh, so the recipe and I'll tell you, it's off Stacy's page, Stacy Keto and Court. I didn't make it up. I don't think she made it up. I don't know where it came from, but that's where, it, that's what it is. All right. Here's my last tortilla. It's in the shape of absolutely nothing. So. You don't have to fast though. I mean, fasting's nice, but you don't ever have to fast for any reason. I can't wait to try this butter cookie flavor. Um, cookie, I forgot those in the oven. Alexa, how much time is left on the timer? Two minutes, Two minutes guys. Okay. Um, so thank you thank you i had such a good birthday i really did guys um my boyfriend in seoul did the most for me um okay so i got here we go oh okay so the one i thought was kind of crunchy it actually look at that guys it tastes like a tortilla this is so good i am so impressed by this tortilla guys um Wow, that's actually amazing. They're kind of Swedish, like, um, cause you can taste, I guess it's the coconut really is what that is. But that is really good. Wow, I can see why Stacy makes those all the time now. That's really good actually. Uh, I am impressed. So, um, Jen, you gotta make these. They are so good and they're so easy. I stole this from from Stacy's page. I don't know where she got it. It doesn't have a name or anything on it. It's really easy. Um, do y'all want to get a pen? You want me to say it out loud? Like, or you can find it on Stacy's page. Either way, Stacy is keto in court. That's it. Keto in court. Um, C O R U T. Uh, if y'all don't follow Stacy Keto in Court, you should. She makes recipes out of books. She lets you know how she feels about them. She also goes shopping, and you'll have to buy everything that she ever buys. Um, all right. My last tortilla is about to be done. There we go. Thank you, Vicki. Um, wait, I wrote her name. Is her name not right here? Her name's right here in my tie, my thing down here. Is it? Oh my gosh. Nia. 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 Y'all, I have to show Nia. I don't care about anything else, but I need to show Nia this. Nia's in here, guys. We're all excited because I am. Okay. Let's find the one I took a bit bite out of. <laughs> Look at this. Nia, do you see this tortilla? Do you see this tortilla? Do you see it? Well, it's ripping apart now. Alexa, stop. That tortilla. Okay, I'm gonna let these cookies be in there for about two more minutes or so. Um, I don't like, I, I want them to be a little bit crispier. 
Dee's playing, playing with the lights. That's Nia. Nia, kimchi and collards, love her. She does decorating. She does fuck you, I cooked, which I haven't seen in a while. Um, she has the cutest dogs and a super fly husband. He dresses so cool. He even wears a purse. Nia, I think it's so cool that Nia wears a purse. I mean, that, <laughs> that Mike wears a purse. Um, these tortillas are so good. Look, you want to see them rip apart? Look at that. That's a pretty good tortilla. It even tastes really good. Um, don't overcook them though. Don't overcook them. If you overcook them, they're gonna be get, they're gonna get crunchy. So the way Stacy does it is she puts them underneath a towel like this, and I think that's what makes them help them dry, not dry out, which is really nice. Um, so I'm gonna keep them under that towel until I eat. Mike has a million shoes. Um. Sunflower oil's fine. That's not that big of a deal. Don't worry about it. Look, Nia, you show up and everybody's like, Nia, you're so famous. Okay, Nia, I'll tell you, everybody that missed tortillas, I'll tell you right now. It's literally, you put the dry ingredients. I got a mini food processor at Costco this weekend. It's like four cups. Put the dry ingredients, you put the wet ingredients, you let it mix into a dough and you put it in the refrigerator or... You knead it together into like a ball and you put it in the refrigerator for 15 minutes, take it out, put it in a hot skillet with no oil. That's it. It's the whole tortillas. That's it. All done. Um, we also made cookies. We made butter cookies. I'm so excited. Um, all of my lives, all of my lives are on YouTube. They're unedited and you can't see any of the text at the bottom, but they're on there. Um, so... Yeah, Nia, they're really, really easy. And I made those, um, has anybody else made the pork rind ones? The pork rind tortillas or the almond flour tortillas? Because I made those and they were awful and they fell apart. I was not a fan. Um, so I will, um, I will post the cookie recipe later on tonight, um, when I'm finished cleaning up my oven. I mean, cleaning up my kitchen. Because I'm going to clean the kitchen. But that's it. That's all I was going to cook today. I, I got the thing going. I got it. Look, I got like less than half a minute or so. Um, I've made zero tortillas. Have you not made tortillas yet, Nia? These are good. I'm actually gonna eat it with some butter. Yeah. Look at that. It's just like a tortilla. I don't have to do a tortilla press like Stacy. I just use a rolling pin. I'm gonna get a tortilla press though now. I wanna try the refried beans too. I know Nia made those refried beans. Nia needs to do a cooking live. Nia, you should do a cooking live. You'd be so fun to watch. Nia's just fun to watch in general. And you know what gets me is Nia does production value because she does good videos and then she like adds like nice text and it's all cute. And I try to do that. I don't know if y'all ever noticed, but I'm like, oh, use different fonts and put them in different areas. That shit's hard. Like Nia, I'm impressed that you do that because if you make the word, the letters too big or too small and you try to move them, then you're moving the different things and you got to fucking stack them all back up. That shit's work. Do they really? I don't. Veggies don't really do that to me, so I'm pretty lucky. Um, okay, so here's our butter cookies, or the butter cookie, yeah. So I'm actually going to take this, these off and put them on a rack, and then I'm going to go ahead and make some more cookies. Whoop! Come on, can sit next to me. It takes too long. What takes too long? Oh, the, the, uh-huh, I know, yeah. Nia lives in such a beautiful home, too. Like, if I lived in New York, I'd be homeless because I wouldn't be able to afford anything. But <laughs> Nia keeps her home beautiful. The double washing of dishes. Hey, Spammy! Oh, yeah. Pineapple tattoo! Um, okay, so I'm going to move the cookies to this little... If you don't shop at the Dollar Tree for basics like this thing... 
missing out. This was a dollar. And you know what? If something gets stuck to it and I don't want to scrape it off, I'm going to throw it away because it was a dollar. Thank you, Dollar Tree. All right, so I'm going to move my cookies over to this wire rack so I can... Okay, so that's hot as fire. God, she's trying to have as a stripper. You're ridiculous. All right. This is going to be dangerous. I don't want to spill these all over the ground. I did it. 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 I moved all of them off. I love the Dollar Tree, guys. So I am... Oh, I lost a cookie! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> um, I love the Dollar Tree. I've always been a budget person, and the Dollar Tree is on budget all the time. I can't believe I just fucking lost two cookies. It's the saddest two cookies I've ever seen in my life. Damn it. That's all right. So I'm going to go ahead and re-parchment this paper and start some more cookies. Actually, you know what? Let's recycle. No, there's no five second rule. Y'all want to see? Look at this. Do y'all see that? Can y'all see? Look at it. Disaster. Just fell apart. Damn it. There's cookie all over the place. Okay, I'm going to try not to step on it while I keep going. No, they're gross. They got cat fur on them. Um, ugh. Oh, you know what's funny is I love nush, and I had some nush cakes, and I really wanted a blueberry nush cake, and I dropped it on the ground at my boyfriend's house, and it was covered in fur, and I was so upset. So upset. Tried to pick the fur off. It didn't work. Damn it. That's all right. That's why I got more cookies coming. Man, this butter, this flavor though smells so good. I don't know how it's going to taste though. So, um, this recipe ended up making 14, quite a few cookies. You could probably make these a little bit bigger if you wanted. Boogie, do it. Boogie's going to make them and they're going to be even better. Y'all, y'all, do y'all follow Boogie? Why do you think I bought dogs that don't shed? Fuck. <laughs> you know what? And I got a cat and he sheds too. It's just, it's a never ending battle between the fur. It's just the worst. Give it to your boyfriend. That's what the boys are, that's what, that's what the men are there for. If you drop something on the ground, they get the ground one and you get the fresh one. Is that not right? Cause that's how my life is too. Boogie, Boogie makes me want a, a blowtorch on a real level. Like, I don't know if I'll ever buy myself a blowtorch, but if I had a blowtorch, I think I would use it. Boogie is fun to talk to watch. Um, I heard through the grapevine boogie that you don't look at the camera because it's weird for you. Do you not think it's weird for you to be like talking like that? Is that is that not as weird? I feel like that's weird too. Um, in New York City, I think they get them at Whole Foods. Y'all get y'all's lilies at Whole Foods. Um, you don't watch boogie stories. Nia, he blow torches shit. Oh, it's so good. And they eat stuff, and he goes. Or something. It's always animated. I don't know how to explain what it is. Um, okay. So we're gonna stick these cookies. It's weird looking at yourself, isn't it, Boogie? Um, I got used to looking at myself with uh, Soul, because me and Soul video back and forth. And, hey, Denise! Um, and we got so used to seeing our own faces that it's not even a big deal anymore. All right. So I'm going to smush these cookies and then I'm going to stick them in the oven for 15 minutes and then we're done. That's it. It's a whole life. I think it's time anyways. I don't know what time it is. All right. Alexa set a timer for 15 minutes. That's hot. All right. He does always wipe his mouth with a napkin, doesn't he? I'm going to scoop up this cookie into this bowl really fast. So what I like about this recipe is, did y'all, I know y'all saw what that cookie just looked like. It's already getting crunchier as it, dry, as it gets, um, Whole Foods should have them. You should ask your Whole Foods why they don't carry them. Cause all, all the Whole Foods around here carry the lilies. Um, I don't know if I'd get them shipped. I live in Texas, so everything melts if you get it shipped, but you could get it shipped if you'd like. Um, I'm glad y'all like Boogie and yeah, I try to show y'all all the people that I follow. Um, so, Alexa, what time is it? 
7.51. It's already been an hour, guys. Okay, so y'all want to try a cookie? All right. Here are the... Nia, does everything give you gas? Because Lily's doesn't hurt my stomach at all. I have a pretty iron, iron stomach for the most part, but, like, there's certain things that don't bug me literally at all. Um, Lily's is so good. So this is the... The cookies are from Stacey. I'll post the recipe, Rach. Um, Rach, I'm sure that's not even what your name is. Um, but today, instead of using vanilla, we used the cookie butter, and we're going to try it. This is really good. I still would have added some vanilla. I've never eaten cookie butter, though, so I don't know if this is what it's supposed to taste like. I'm assuming it's fine. These are really hot, though. Holy Jesus. Okay. Do you have any questions? Comments? Oh. This is what I use for flavoring tonight, guys, instead of vanilla. It's a Loran cookie butter flavor emulsion. Um, it's, it's like really fancy flavoring. Uh, there's a strawberry. And I have a red velvet that I've used for ice cream before. I got these for my birthday, actually. Um, my best friend sends me these. I love them. Um, so they're like flavoring for everything. It's really what they are. So can't wait to taste these cookies after they cool off. Um, eBay or Amazon, either one. You can get it. I think it's cheaper on eBay, but I'm sure you shop everywhere. Everything's on Amazon. So, okay, those are going to cool. I cannot wait to eat these tortillas, guys. They are so tortilla-y. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Y'all see that? Look at that. Oh, yeah. <coughs> these tortillas are so good. I only made one. It was only one of the recipe, but I know why Stacey makes two now. I got about... Four Anti Antarctica type um, tortillas. So four of these is about a cup of almond flour. So not too bad. Um, I'm actually going to have chicken. Ooh, did I want a chicken quesadilla? I might have a chicken quesadilla. I'm just going to eat butter and fucking tortilla. I mean, that's really all I wanted. They do taste like flour tortillas. They taste like fresh made flour tortillas. Um... Those last ones I have did not taste very good. And these are like real dough. I don't know how to explain this. Um, so, I appreciate y'all coming. I love you all. But I'm going to go ahead and make dinner now. Because I just ate that whole tortilla. And that wasn't part of my diet today. In my defense, I haven't eaten today, so. Now it's quesadilla time. So, I love y'all. Have a good day.